Hey guys, welcome back to RHR Gen. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, I'm bringing you a new episode. That's right. I was going to show uh, one of my best ofs, but there's just so much going on that I want to talk about and I'm in a great mood. So I really just, I'm just so happy you're here. So I want to make you a new video. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hey, real quick, before we get into this, I am planning to do a live show this evening. Join me. They have been so much fun lately. So plan on 4 p.m. Eastern time. Let's see, I'm doing the math here. That'd be nine o'clock if you're in the UK. That'd be uh, one o'clock if you're on the West Coast. So figure out the time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Join me here. We'll have some fun. We'll have some laughs. The live chats have been my favorites lately. They really have. You guys are amazing. I've had so many laughs. I've gone for three hours on all the live chats and we just sit there and laugh. It's been great. So join me there. See you there. Okay, now let's get into this. But in this episode, we have a new masks clip that I haven't seen. So we've seen King, the King and Queen in Australia just doing the best job ever. And then we have uh, Megan with a mask slip that somebody showed. So I'm excited to get into that with you all. We're going to be talking the divorce rumors and what's going on there. And of course, we're still laughing about that hottest man thing given to Harry. I mean, it's just, you guys had so much to say the other night on the live. I'm still laughing. Oh, Jamie. Guys, this is embarrassing. Jamie, get out of the tub. I have guests. Come on. My boyfriend Jamie is joining us later in the chat. We got so much to talk about. <laughs> Jamie, get out of the tub. Thanks for being here. Honk, honk, everyone. Oh, I still get questioned. Why do you honk? I honk because a Megan follower told me I sound like a drunk goose. I've been honking ever since. Honk, honk, everyone. Why do you think I'm smiling like this? Jamie, get out of the bath. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've all seen it, but in case you missed it, here's me. I'm starting to share more of me on the lives. Each live I've been showing a new photo of myself. Here's me. I'm smiling because I'm thinking of Jamie in the bath. Okay, now really, let's move on. Here we go. Okay, I'm quickly interrupting to let you know I have new merch. Based on the live chat where I was just having a rough time, but wearing a shirt that said everything is fine <laughs> through gritted teeth. You guys asked for some merch that said that. So I have it now. Look at this goose, stressed out goose. I think a lot of us are stressed out geese right now, geese and ganders, but it says everything is fine. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. I'll put the link in the comments uh, down below. So definitely check that out. Thanks. Starting with this one, the mask slip, full credit goes to across the universe. It says, I love that our King Charles uh, is the original rock star of the Royal Tour Australia. I was reminiscing about that one's tour in 2018, and I think this is the I can't believe I'm not getting paid mask slip. Okay, let's take a look because I hadn't seen this mask slip, and it's great. It's There's no sound, so the sound really doesn't matter, but let's just watch. Look at this. Okay, it's only five seconds long. Look at her face. Talking to the lady. Ready? Bam. <laughs> Talking to the lady. Oh, yep. I'm going to pause it on this one so you can really see her face. And we'll zoom in a little bit. Just can't hide it. What could the lady have possibly said to warrant this face? Just the fact that the lady was just... I don't know, deigning to talk to her or something. It's so crazy. <laughs> she's mad because there's no guy to flirt with. What's going on? She's mad because, well, no, I was gonna say she's not having her picture taken, but she literally is, but cannot hide the scowl. Absolutely ridiculous, but it is funny thinking about how well King Charles and Queen Camilla have done in their Australia trip and what a disaster Harry and Meghan were on their Australia trip. From one disaster to another, let's talk this. Now, I addressed this on the live, but I don't think I've, I don't think I've mentioned on a regular video. There was this thing going around saying Harry and Meghan are getting divorced. And I said on the live, you can go back and find it. I said on the live, I was like, I don't believe it. I think they're putting it out because they want, because again, it's gone so well for King Charles and Queen Camilla that they can't stand it. They'll do anything to get attention for themselves. And so it was my opinion that they're putting this out. I just said it on the last live we did, and a lot of you guys seem to agree with me. Believe me, I, I mean, I it's the separation is coming. I believe they probably are separated, in my opinion, behind the scenes. But the official one, not yet, because they need each other. What else are they going to do? So shout out to Canel Citadel. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, who I found her saying the exact same thing. She's saying, I'm so confused why some royal fans are buying into the fake divorce hoax between H&M in the middle of a royal visit to Australia by the king. Are you new here? 
<laughs> do you not know the modus operandi of this desperate couple? Harry has absolutely zero backbone to leave Meg. Meg cannot afford to let Harry leave her when he's her only source of income. Didn't they just purchase a house in Portugal together? Now, I talked about that on the live too. I don't believe that either. I think that's just some sort of um, promo situation. I don't believe it. Or just attention grab as well. More importantly, H&M didn't marry for love. They married because they have a common interest. Their jealousy for William and Catherine... That is why they made up uh, the image of the PDA-filled happy, mar- happily married couple to oppose the rival, the whale's steady and stoic one. So no, after making rumors a- after rumors to discredit the whale's marriage, H&M would rather stay together and make each other sick rather than have to announce a divorce and be mocked. What will they say? is a powerful motivator for narcissists. Stop falling for the hoax, especially when um, it, they've always happened while the royal family is in the spotlight. In the same way, William and Catherine um, have a long marriage, so their love and family can continue to enrich them and sustain the crown. In the same way, I wish these two manipulators a long marriage just like Wallace and Edward. So they keep poisoning each other instead of poisoning every someone else's life. I just thought that was so well said and so nails exactly what I was trying to say. And so, I mean, exactly everything I think a lot of us are feeling. So again, shout out to you. I wish I could say your name right. Is it Canel Citadel? Um, sorry. Canel, yes, yeah, Citadel, I think. Immediately under this was this comment that made me laugh because she called it pure blankery, which starts with an F. I think that's pretty great to try to overshadow the king, especially after a successful Australian tour. Um, Yeah, that's exactly it. I said the same thing. They called themselves rural rock stars the first time they went to Australia, but we know from Tom Bauer's book, Revenge. Also, Valentine Lowe addressed it in his book, how dreadful they were on that tour and how awful their behavior was, um, that it's, they had to do something to distract because the King and Queen are doing a great job. I want to give a big old shout out and make sure you're following Queen of Memes 80 because they are brilliant and they are a friend of channel and they've been on the live chats with us too and so much fun. So Queen of Memes posted that. So if you're not familiar, she it's a Meghan Markle parody account. So it pretends to be what Meghan's thinking or saying at the time. And it's, re- it's really quite funny, really clever stuff. So she writes... As you know, marriage has its challenges, and Harry and I are no different. Poor thing finally caught on that I've been the one doing all the lying, leaking, planting stories since we started dating. He's hit his boiling point, and honestly, we've been apart for a while now. Right now, I'm just figuring out how much I can strategically take from him once those divorce papers land on my desk. Please keep me in your thoughts as I try to milk him for every penny. And don't worry, I'll be playing the victim card as much as possible. Expect full Amber Heard energy with tears and tantrums to tug at everyone's heartstrings. Fingers crossed for some majority, some, uh, sorry, for some major sympathy points. Left eye tear go. So well done. So well said. And look at the, I just, I'm a huge fan of Always Sunny. So if you watch Always Sunny at all, this will, this will make you laugh. There you go. So, and, and if you don't watch it, it doesn't matter. It's just that conspiracy theory board. One of the characters, Charlie, was having a complete meltdown. So this, um, she put Harry's head over that and Megan in the, in the background there. And it's just pretty funny. It says, go back to being a yacht girl. It's over. Harry grew a pair and finally put the demon psycho (laughs) in her place. But again, as much as I love this, I always say he's just as bad as she is and sometimes worse. So I don't like to give that dude a free pass. Which friend of the channel, Polly Rubino here, made me laugh and said, oh, she'll just call him the ist words. I'm calling it. And then, of course, Meghan Markle parody replied, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Since we're talking Meghan Markle parody anyway, again, follow this account. I'm going to read this one because now we're going to talk about this hot guy thing. I can't get off of it. It's so freaking funny to me that they're trying to convince us that Harry is the the 25th hottest man of all time. That's literally what this stupid list is from Harper's Bazaar. So Megan Markle Parody says this. Prince Harry just snagged the 25th spot on Harper Bazaar's hottest men list, beating out Bradley Cooper and David Beckham. 
How much did he pay his PR team for that one? The effort to turn Harry from an emasculated, whiny man child into a suave ginger hottie. It's truly impressive. From his cool surfer dude at the kiddie pool to the latest rebranding, it's clear he's throwing money at the problem. That's what I said, too. They just threw money at the problem. That's funny. And hopes we'll forget about the tears, tantrums, and throwing his family under the bus. Spoiler alert. It's not working. Man card denied. Thank you. That's exactly what I said, too. They threw money at the problem. They had, in my opinion, they had some publicist try to pull in some favors or something that got on this list. It's too convenient because remember, Harper's Bazaar is the same publication that followed him around Columbia. They wouldn't allow anybody else, but they allowed Harper's Bazaar. So, um, yeah, spelling, I'm spelling bizarre the other way because this is bizarre. But, uh, Yeah, the whole thing's crazy. A lot of people are still talking about it. But we got some really funny memes and disgusting ones out of it, which have made me laugh to no end. Like this one, I'm still cringing, rolling my eyes so hard. And then this one, it's a campaign to try to redeem him, and it's in full swing. I couldn't agree more. hes They're not doing much these days. He's doing that surfing. She did the red dress. They went their separate ways. It's weird. But they're trying to convince us that Harry's hot. Ugh. You know I had to do it. Lean Meme Machine never disappoints with their excellentness. And she posted this. Harkle's Bazaar, the hottest of the chicken coop. Oh, God, that picture. She didn't even doctor this picture. I remember seeing this picture. And I was like, no, no, put it away. No, why are you doing that? No, this is supposed to be the to- the 25th hottest guy of all time. Really? Everybody say hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. I brought back in my boyfriend once again to talk about this. Jamie, they're trying to say that Harry is hotter than you. What do you have to say about that? Oh, top of the run into you. That's my Irish accent. Uh, Jennifer is the greatest. <laughs> no freaking way is Harry hotter than him. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh goodness. Sorry, I got distracted again. I brought more pictures of Jamie this time. This is basically my excuse just to drool into a cup over Jamie and, and moan at my screen. Hi, Jamie. Hi, J- Jamie. What do you have to say about this? Oh, Jennifer, you're beautiful. <laughs> Harry completely sucks. Again, I love my Irish geese. I'm not trying to offend you all. But I've just been laughing my face off at this and looking at pictures of Jamie Dornan. Oh, hi, Jamie. Um, Yeah, this whole thing is so crazy. People keep talking about it. Oh, Jamie, what are you doing? Bet you're back in the tub. Jamie, I told you I have guests. <laughs> get out. We'll get in the tub later. Get out, Jamie. But we're supposed to believe... I'm just making myself laugh right now. We're supposed to believe that this prick is hotter than than... Any of the other guys on the list? I mean, we went over it. I'm just stuck on this. Henry Cavill, hello. I've been rewatching the Tudors, by the way. <sighs> Come to mama. That is such a good show, by the way. Oh my God, if you haven't seen the Tudors, go watch that. It's, um, where did I just find it? Oh, it's on uh, Amazon Prime. You have to watch the commercials if you don't, you know, pay. I don't, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. So go watch that. Tudors, so hot. Want to touch the hiney. Henry Cavill, how you doing? But no, they ranked Harry, whatever the word, I guess his number was lower. So I guess he's ranked higher, hotter than Henry Cavill. Again, this prick right here, really? We've been over this. I'm just stuck on this. Theo James wasn't even on the list. It's a crime. A lot of you guys had a lot to say about that. And Idris Elba. We're trying to, we're trying to say that Harry is hotter than Idris Elba. As you can imagine, a lot of us are stuck on this. We've clearly feel like, in our opinion, it's a pay-to-play situation. If you connect the dots to Harper Bazaar, they have a history with Harry and Meghan. But again, I said before on the live, and I keep repeating it because I know, you know, not everyone watches the lives, which you're wrong. You should. They're excellent. But, um, you know, you can, you can pay for these things, but people won't believe it. We can see through it. Ugh. Anyway, I picked Greg Davis for the hot list. I don't know why I was feeling extra spunky, so I went ahead and tagged him in a tweet. I'm still waiting for him to respond, but welcome, Greg, to our Drunk Goose Club. <laughs> I said his milkshakes brings all the drunk geese to the yard. A lot of you guys agree. I don't know what it is about. No, I do know what it is. He's got the best sense of humor. Plus, he's like 6'8". I mean, come on. That's a lot of milk. And speaking of the live chat, shout out to Kathy. No spicy. I'm not going to read this. Oh my God. See, I'm already like blushing and sweating. I cannot say this. If you, if you come to the live chat, you know what I'm talking about. Can't say that word. Um, (laughs) but it was so funny. Kathy sent me this and we were dying laughing. Again, it refers back to the live chats. It's an ongoing thing where I cannot say that word. 
It makes me blush to high hell. I can't say it. Like even, I can't even look at it right now. I'm covering, I'm not even kidding. My hand's up over the screen. I can't look at it. But w something funny that did come out of this is when Kathy tweeted me, I just let loose and, and I said, you sick flocks. And I don't know why that struck me so funny. So that's now in my repertoire. When you guys act spicy, I'm going to call you sick flocks because it's just funny. Also, I had to shout out Miss Panda, who made me this. Ever since I revealed my hair and that I've been trying to curl it like Catherine, she made me this beautiful goose that I love so much with my hair. I wish my hair looked like that. My hair isn't quite that styled, but... Um, <laughs> and then notice, again, not going to say it. Look what's on the tray. You have to be there at the live chat to understand these jokes, but they're hilarious. Thank you, Miss Panda, for making this. I'm blushing as I look at it. Love it so much. You guys are the best. Oh my gosh. It just feels so good to laugh with you all again. You guys truly are a bunch of sick flocks. No, you really are the best. You really are. Thank you for everything. It feels good to just have a piece of myself back again. It's been a little while. I know I've been a crying, teary mess, but I am back. I'm getting there. Good days and bad, but today's a good day, and I want to have a good chat later. So join me, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Google what time that is for you. I always have people ask me. I'm like, I don't know. Google it. Um, <laughs> but join me, and we'll have some laughs, and we'll have a Saturday night live. We'll have a Saturday night chat. I'm looking forward to it. I love you, Flocker, so much, and uh, I can't wait to bring you more laughs like this and more fun like this. And uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, I'll see you. Oh, yeah, here's a happy moment for you. Enjoy this. It's got that blue. Oh, do you see why I love blue so much? She looks so beautiful in blue. That's my, it's just so beautiful. I just love that blue so much. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm just dragging this out to look at Catherine. Thank you for being here. That's what I want my hair to look like. I don't know how to do that. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being so warm and lovely to me. And I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. I'll see you on the live chat. Bye. Bye.